Welcome to Timber Gold Trails. Today, a new species, the gray wolf, was just introduced to this map. And we're going to be hunting him with my 223, and I also have my camel pulsar on me. So, what I figured out is there's a few ways that you're supposed to hunt them. One, you can walk around until you find a carcass. And if you sit at that carcass for at least 20 to 30 um game minutes or maybe more sometimes there's a good chance a wolf could come into that carcass and the second way you could walk around and look for tracks and the third way just walk around and listen on your hunter mate for a wolf to call and try and get close to that spot and lure them in with your wolf call or spot them from far away and shoot them with the 223 all right well let's go hunting All right, so if you're doing a single player hunt or a multiplayer on your own game, I would suggest just running around until you find a carcass. And this is what the carcass looks like. So this is a female elk here. Uh, they could be a male or a female, but you can see she's got some blood all over her and she's dead. So what I like to do is, Again, I wouldn't do this on just anybody's server because they might get mad if you're running around and stuff like that. So, um, this is what I like to do. I carry a tree stand on me. And also, if you're on someone else's server, you can't have a tree stand. So, I'll put it up about 30 meters from the carcass. I don't want to put it up any closer than 30 meters because... The wolves will actually detect you and they'll run away. And that's not good. So here, it's actually perfect here. Uh, about 35 meters away. And you can see if the wolf comes to the right or to the left of it, I'll be able to see him. Actually, we have a bear coming here. young male it's important to not shoot anything until the wolf comes in because you'll risk spooking it <laughs> looks like this bear wants to come eat some of the carcass oh, just drop the bear all right guys so this bull elk out here just started fleeing you know what that means? That means that there's wolves nearby. So I think they're coming. Just a matter of when. Holy crap, guys, we got a wolf. We got a wolf on the carcass now. We got a wolf on the carcass. So he was here for a little while. Now, I didn't notice him. Um, but he looks pretty nice. I'm going to take him with my pulsar. Is that about 48 meters? Oh, he's coming right to me now. Okay, cool. So I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but all of a sudden the carcass started moving. And I realized that something was going on. And then I saw that that was the tail of the wolf. So it's pretty cool. So I think he smells me now. Oh, no. All right, I thought he smelled me for a second. Definitely don't want him smelling me. So if he turns a little bit, I'll take that shot. He's in a bit of thick grass there, but... Drilled him. All right, guys. We just got our first wolf hunting off of a carcass. So we got our male wolf kill off of a carcass. He scores 15.669. Got him in the neck, um, shoulder blade, and left lung. Perfect shot. 
And there you can see the carcass in the background over right in the corner there. So he was on the carcass for quite a while eating, but I uh, was making some coffee and my coffee just started brewing. So I was over checking on that. And when I came back to check quick to see what was going on, that's when I saw some movement over on the uh, carcass. Pretty cool. All right, so we got our carcass eating predator right here. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be eating too much carcasses anymore. Awesome. Hi right, guys, so we just got a wolf call and I'm using my wolf out caller to try and lure some wolves in. If they come over here, it should be pretty good. Holy cow, we got a bull elk here. I just saw something. I thought it was a carcass maybe. Well, apparently we have a pretty big bull over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear a wolf. I hear something. Kind of sounds very uh, dog-like. And it's not a bear. There it is. It's coming in. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's a male, too. It's like a pretty good one. So I think he's by himself from what it looks like here. We also have this pretty big bull coming in over here. Not too concerned about him though. Mostly want to get this wolf. All right. Hopefully he keeps coming. Kind of stopped right there. I can't shoot right there either. Oh my God, no, he just spooked. Oh, I don't know if he smelled me or what happened. Oh. Well, at least we got a bull coming in down here. I think we're gonna take a shot at this bull. Try and hit him pretty solid. Oh, oh, dropped him. That works. And I think we're gonna wait a little bit and try and call this wolf back in. Yeah, I couldn't shoot that wolf because he was right. If I shot straight down, I could have, but he was to the side of me and I can't shoot that way. This is a good bull here. He's 360s probably. Yeah, 344. I don't even know why this wolf fleed in the first place. I was in a tree stand for God's sakes. He spooked while I was in a tree stand in full camouflage. Ooh, ooh, so we have some more wolves here. See if we can get on this rock. Of course we can't.
Oh, here it comes. Oh, it looks pretty big, too. Let's see here. It's coming in fast. It's a female. <sighs> Dropped her. Heart shot. Wow, look how small the heart is on that thing. However, I do want to find that male that I was tracking. I definitely want to find that male. And his tracks are right here. So something tells me he's not too far away. Oh, there he is, there he is. Guys, look at that. I think that's him. Should be him. Yep, that's him. Oh my God, guys, he's coming, he's coming. He's hit. He's hit good. He's hit real good. I don't know if that's even the right one. I think, I hope it is. Is that a male? Yeah, we hit him. We hit him. He's hit good. Look at him run. Oh, that was so cool. Well, it's been about 15 game minutes now, and a bull elk just decided to come walking up by us, so we're definitely going to take him out. And, um, that should have been a good hit on him. Well, here, at least we got some more blood on my wolf. Some fleeing body blood. And I'm probably going to, um, walk track mostly. Maybe run a little bit. But this wolf's been very, very difficult to track. And you can see I started tracking him way over here, followed him all the way down over this way. A bunch of tracks here, so something definitely went on. I'm not sure if he stopped and walked around or if he just kind of like, oh, he's down right here. Yeah, that's what happened. Look at that. Wow, that looks pretty big. So I hit him in the back hind quarter, it looks like. But um, I think the wind pushed it. Well, let's see what it scores here. 15.9, so that's a pretty good size male there. And that's my first decent size male. Yeah, I'm not sure how the wind pushed it so far and hit the hit in the back hind leg like that, but but all right, at least we got him. So it looked like I hit intestine, but somehow it shot low. Cool picture though. All right, so we just had a wolf howl. We're gonna put out a call and hop up in the stand. Now I wanna make sure the call's no closer than 30 meters away from my stand. Cause I don't want him to come and smell me. Oh, he's right down there. Yeah, I definitely don't want him to come smell me. All right, now we need to somehow sneak back into this stand. Here he comes, here he comes. I hear him coming in. Well, it looks like a pretty good one, too. 
All right, so he's about 25 meters away there. Drilled him. I'm not even sure if it's a male or what. All right, so that should have been uh, intestine hit, maybe lungs. Yep, that's intestines. So that's a pretty solid hit. Let's see. I can't even tell what it is or not. Based off the tracks. It looked like a pretty nice size one. So we have some pretty good blood. I think maybe we liver shot it. Yeah, I'm almost certain we liver shot it, so it should go down pretty soon. Maybe we did, because he's down right here. So we found him. That's pretty cool. Got a bull elk nearby. Alright, here's our wolf. Uh, I'm not even sure if it was a male or a female. Oh, it was a male. And it was a big male. Holy. Look at the size of the thing. And we got shoulder blade, liver, and intestine. I think that might be leaderboards. Definitely my biggest male so far. And made a good liver shot on him. We'll take a cool trophy shot. You can see the broadheads went right past his uh, shoulder blade on the other side there. Oh my gosh. So I think we have a whole pack of wolves over there. Guys. Wow. Let's see if we can spot some of them. I wonder if they're away up in the hill. Oh, there's one. There's a female there. Oh, there's another one way up there on the hill. Looks like a big one. That looks like a big old alpha male. So I think I'm going to take out this alpha from here. So I hit him good. Ah. Definitely hit him good, but I think I might have hit shoulder blade on him. And we got a wolf here. We got a wolf. He looks pretty hurt. We're going to take him down. I'm not sure if he would have died there or what happened. But he definitely looked pretty hurt. Because he wasn't moving. Alright, let's see what he scores. So we hit him at 96 meters in the uh, shoulder blade. Right dead in the shoulder blade. So just missed the lung. My question is, would he have died from that shot? 15.0, so not a bad one. Cool. All right, now I'm going to try and go around and find some more um, animal carcasses that we can put up a stand and hunt. I really think that's pretty neat to watch them come in like that. So I'm going to try and find another dead elk carcass around here somewhere. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh my god, guys, it's a black one. I've never seen this before. We got a black wolf coming in. And it's a male as well. Wow. Um, I don't really want him to smell me. Oh, I hit him hard. Hit him really hard, guys. I think I hit him a little bit high, but I'll take that. 
Can't see where to go here. There he goes. All right, I just saw him. There. Yeah, I would have let him come to a nice stop, but I've had these wolves run away two or three times already, and they busted me out of a tree stand, which I'm in a tree stand now, but still. Um, I did place a call right on the road here, and I think that might have been a little bit too close to where the wolf could have easily detected me. And plus, considering it was a dark-colored wolf and I've never seen one, I wasn't risking that wolf getting away without an arrow in him at least. All right, well, while we've been waiting now for about 20 game minutes, we have about four cow elk around us, two um, mule deer bucks coming, and a bull elk somewhere. Let's go track our first black wolf. I mean, I guess it's kind of like a rare, if you think about it. And it's a male, too. That's why I'm really excited. I just don't know if he went downhill or uphill. Right here, look at that. Look at that, guys. So he went downhill. He actually went downhill. And he didn't go far at all. So here's our black fox, or I mean, uh, black wolf. So yeah, if you look, there's our stand. He only went maybe 150 meters and then tipped right over right here. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at him. And he's pretty big too. So I hit him right in the shoulder blade. Yeah, just a tad high. If I was a little bit lower, I would have hit lung and shoulder. I would have dropped him. But that's a pretty big um, black wolf we shot right here. And plus it's our first one too. He's kind of on a hill. Might be a little bit difficult to get a picture of him. Oh, that's pretty cool right there, actually. That is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't really want to be too picky with this. I think that looks really cool right there. Yeah. All right. Guys, look at this. We got a wolf chasing an elk right now he was just chasing this cow i tried to record it sooner but this guy's like oh another wolf we got two wolves here guys we got two wolves oh my god all of a sudden this cow elk came running through and we got a wolf coming right to us right now um so there's two wolves here we got a good win i don't really want it to spook Okay, yes, he's coming to the bait. He's coming to the bait. Look at this, guys. How cool is this? Oh, wow. Okay, she's eating on it. I'll give you a little view here. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. Wow. Now, I'm not sure how long she's going to sit here and eat for. So, I do want to shoot her. I'm going to take her with my camel pulser. Wait, another one's coming. No way. I'm not sure what this one is. Maybe it's a male. Oh yeah, it's a big male. Look at the size of that thing. So he's checking out all the area. He's definitely the alpha. Look at him. I think I might have taken the shot. Oh, he ducked down right when I shot, but I drilled him hard. Oh, he's, he's hit so good. <clears throat> yeah, he was about to win me, guys. So apparently the alphas are super smart in this game. Where, I mean, just like, I think we have another wolf. I think we have another wolf there. Yep, we had another wolf coming. So there was three wolves coming into this one carcass here. So we're just going to hop down here real quick and um, pick up this the blood from that wolf that we shot. The big male. Yeah, 
or some body blood. Well guys, it's been about 15 game minutes now, and we're just about to go start tracking my wolf. But I just called, like, right on my dot. So, it shouldn't be too difficult to track this wolf. And that also means that it's still alive, but it probably just laid down. Usually they make one final call before they lay down. And there he is, right over here. He's down, guys. Let's go take a look at him. Well, there he is. Yeah, you can see it just hit a little bit high on him there. If I would have been over another inch to the left, I would have spied him right there. But, we got him. Let's see what he scores. 15.9. So, definitely a pretty nice size male wolf we have there. Alright, let's take a cool trophy shot of him. That was probably one of the coolest hunts that I had right there. Seeing those two wolves come chasing that, that elk and then having the wolves come right into the carcass like that and start feeding. That was pretty awesome. So that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.